Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a loose sun visor in your vehicle. Let's go ahead and get started. So what we're looking at here, these sun visors in time as you're you know, dropping them, moving them around and all that stuff, they can get loose like this one here is. Now there's different ways that they get attached. Some of them are Phillips screws, some of them are Torx bits, some of them you just can't, they're just clipped in. We're gonna take a look at all of those. But this one here, let me get a close up and I'll show you what this one has here. You can see it's loose, you look up in there. This one just has a, a Phillips screw. So all that we'll need to do is just take our Phillips screwdriver here and we can tighten that up. We'll slide the visor out of the way. We can get our screwdriver up in here. Just tighten it all the way up. There we go. Nice and steady. Rotates nice. And as you see right here, nice and stable compared to how it was earlier and just flopping around. So now if it's up like this, we pull it down, we can move it nice and solid. Let's head over to another vehicle and I'll show you a different kind of attachment method. Let's go inside of this one, I'll show you this one. So as we look at this one here, same thing, this one's loose as well, but I'm gonna bring the camera in here close. This one actually has three screws and they're not your typical screw head like a flat head or a Phillips screw. Let's take a look. Looking up here, you have three, which are known as Torx screws. So you'll need a special Torx bit to get those out. If that's what your vehicle has, you're gonna to need to make sure you get the right size. Or you can buy a complete set like I have here where it has all of the different sizes of Torx bits. You can see them along here. I've obviously removed the one that we're gonna be using, but you have all the different sizes. It's not a bad idea to invest in one of these in case you're in these kind of situations. So using just a ratchet type screwdriver with your Torx bit in it, you can tighten these back up. Now to get that last one, we're gonna to have to push this out of the way. And then get a shot of it right here. Get to that one. There we go. These are all tight. You can see it's solid. You can see how stable that is now. We can move it, slides out, nice and solid. Just put it in. You see, we got an issue right here. That one's pulling off. So we need to tighten that. Now, sometimes these can be a little tricky. Sometimes they're easy because the, the torque screw or the regular screw is easily accessible as seen here. That one's just your standard Phillips screw. This one appears to be sealed, but if you come on this side, you can see we have just a standard Phillips on this one as well. Or in the case of this one, let's pull this out of the way and I'll show you what we're looking at. We have a little panel right here, so we need to pop that off. So what we'll do is we'll take a flathead screwdriver, and that's usually a little panel door that just opens this way. So I'm going to put a flathead in there. We're going to pop that off, and we should have our screw underneath that. Just go right up in there like that. There we go. Now we can pull that away. And it's another Torx screw in there. Looks like a different size than what we just looked at. Let me get the right size bit. We'll tighten that up. I believe it was one size smaller, so we'll go with this one. There we are. So now that thing is solid. Clip that back in. Let's take a look at it. There you go. Nice and solid. So that goes up, goes down. We're good. Bring it out here. Perfect. That took care of that one. Now, there's some vehicles where you can't do anything with it. I have a Chevy Trailblazer. Let's head over to that one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this vehicle here, 
This is a Chevy Trailblazer. It's a 2003. But if we take a look here on this one, there's nowhere to tighten it if it gets loose. And I'll show you. You can see this hinge they have here. To even remove it, what you'll need to do is you'll need to put either a very small screwdriver or some kind of a rod up in there to lock it. And then you'll be able to turn it this way. Once you get it to line up, then you're going to have to pry it down. It just clips in, so there's no way to tighten this type, unfortunately. So if it gets loose, you may have to just replace the whole thing or pop it off and try to find a way to wedge something in there, in there to tighten it. Okay, well, that wraps up this video. Just wanted to take a few minutes and just show you if you have one of these sun visors that's getting loose, how you can tighten it. It can get annoying things wobbling around, or if you have it with the clip where it's not holding, it's just loose, it can just be frustrating. So very quick and easy. Just check and see what kind of screw it is, whether it's a Phillips flathead or a Torx. Make sure you get the right size if it is a Torx. Get that tightened up really good. That solves your problem. So I hope this video was informative for you. Hope it helped you out with anything you're you're dealing with with your sun visors. I'll have a link down in the description to another video I did pertaining to sun visors um, as far as replacing uh, broken ones, as far as the clips. But uh, please send me any questions, comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.